So just a couple hours after we posted our video talking about iOS 26.1 and all the RCs that go along with Apple's operating systems being delayed, even including iOS 26.0.2, Apple surprised us and did drop the RC. Finally, hopefully this will bring a little bit more stability and some other improvements on the back end. If you're unfamiliar with how Apple's updates work, whenever we get to the RC or release candidate version, we actually know not to expect any new features. This is mainly going to be performance improvements, hopefully battery improvements as well. So that's exactly what we're expecting here today. This should be a quick, short video for you guys. Just want to show you guys a couple of changes from the prior betas and show you how smooth the RC is working. So first things first, as you can see here, iPad OS 26.1 has a new build number of 23B82. Now, barring any unforeseen changes here or bugs found, this should be the version that does go public for us in a couple of days, most likely next Monday. We will talk about the release schedule here in a minute. But one thing I do want to touch on again, because this is very un Apple like in beta four, we did get a new liquid glass toggle. And I don't remember if I, sh if I showed you guys this in the iPad OS video, but you can see right here, you have two options, either tinted or clear. Clear is going to be more liquid glass than tinted. Tinted kind of still frosts it and gives it more of a uh, deeper border around it, as you can see here, but still liquid glass nonetheless. This, is, that's, this doesn't take it away or turn it off altogether, just so you're aware. I would still like to see a slider option pop up, maybe in another beta, but for now, this is our best option and what Apple has given us. And if you didn't see what it looks like, I'm gonna put it back to clear. Let's go to music. And I think this is one of the best areas to really see how this looks, especially in this now playing bar when you scroll over lighter or darker colored backgrounds and how it adjusts and how you can see everything below, uh, or I should say behind the what's playing. And there you go. So that is what you see for clear. If we go to tinted, what you'll notice is it's still present. You can still see behind it. It does still kind of warp it a little bit, but it is definitely much more muted than what we have when you are simply on clear. I think it's a nice touch. I'm glad they added it, but I still would like to see more customization options in the form of a slider. We did get that new Apple TV redesign and logo in the last beta as well. Nothing changed inside the app necessarily, but they are looking to rebrand and that new logo is part of that change. Aside from that too, so far, jumping around, going into, let's go into stocks really quick. Everything was operating as you would expect. Let's go to Apple. They have their earnings call in a couple days. And you can see everything is pretty smooth. So that's definitely good to see. I haven't experienced any issues with battery life. I have heard some other people are. Same as well with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. Not experienced any of those issues this whole time either. So... Keep that in mind, this has been a very solid beta for iPad OS 26.1. Never really had an issue in all of those. We got slide over back. This is going to be a much appreciated update when Apple drops it. And speaking of that, let's now talk about when we can anticipate this to be dropped. So let me go ahead and try to condense this. Okay. So. As crazy as it is, October's over. This is the last week in October. We thought that maybe we would be receiving the actual final public release at the last week of October. However, obviously now we are now looking at November and being that November 3rd is next week, that is when I can anticipate that this will go public. Unless we have any crazy unforeseen circumstances pop up, Everyone can expect to get 26.1 next week, and Apple has been very good at letting us know the day of that release is coming. So in the morning, whether it's a newsroom or another release, we will know what day officially it'll be coming, usually around 1 Eastern time. That's 1 p.m. Eastern time. But aside from that, guys, no reason to drag out this video. You guys are well aware of how everything's been working uh, and how it's actually been really a pleasure to use uh, iPad OS since this version was released. Gaming hasn't been a problem this whole time and everything, again, just really has been pretty smooth. I'll go ahead and update Clash Royale, play that a little later on here, but that's it for this one.
Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're installing it on your iPhone now that it is in an RC form or on an Apple Watch or your iPad. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.